What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing everything going on with like the documentary, the soundtrack, all this new information that we have that is confirmed. But before we do hop on into that, make sure to check out my second channel Complex 2. We just hit over 4,000 subscribers over there and I upload videos on like Trippy, MGK, Ian, Don Tolliver, all sorts of different artists. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, link to it will be in the description down below. Also make sure to check out the Twitch. I've been going live over there almost every single day or at least a few days a week for like an hour or two. So link to that will be in the description down below and lastly shout out to all the channel members but with all this being said let's just hop on into the video all right so shout out to basically everyone that i'm going to be using information from in this video link to all their twitters will be in the description down below this includes like yash tragedy fallen leaks and i'm going to also shout out an account that i think is really underrated but with all this being said guys we're going to start with that the documentary did get a confirmed release date now this information is coming from yash he confirmed that the documentary will be coming to hbo on december 17th as well with the soundtrack so yeah this confirms that we are getting the documentary and the soundtrack the same day on the 17th of December which is a Friday this is like the second or third Friday of December so it's not dropping on Juice's birthday or the day he passed away probably because I don't think either of those are a Friday but this isn't too far off from either of those and honestly this is only like a month away now before we hop on into this other section of news I do want to go ahead and say that keep in mind that everything is subject to change I think that Legends Never Die was a perfect example that the track list can be completely done and submitted and it can still change they did that by adding on other songs and taking songs off of legends never die literally right before it dropped and keep in mind that this documentary soundtrack fighting demons whatever you want to call it it is still not submitted or turned in officially yet not to my knowledge at least so a lot of this is still subject to change but i still want to discuss and kind of go into what these confirmed songs as of right now are now i can't necessarily say who gave me the information that these are 100 percent confirmed but i was talking to a few people throughout dm shout out to everyone that gave me information and was just helping fill me in on where this was coming from we did kind of narrow it down at least to a certain degree but obviously i can't go too much into that but the confirmed name for this documentary is fighting demons they played a trailer for this at rolling loud where it played a part of an unreleased song as well where juice was kind of like recording it in the studio so that might also be a song that gets added onto this track list or the soundtrack at least but kind of looking into this yeah like i said the confirmed name for the documentary is fighting demons which is a little weird just because there's a song on legends never die called fighting demons but looking past that keep in mind that this begin the fight interlude or intro did leak or a version of it did it might be entirely fake because basically all it is is just an interview between juice and it's just like a beat put over it now it could definitely be different this could be the one that's on the album maybe they took it off but basically excluding that the track list that we have is feline with travis scott soda pop with roddy rich so that would confirm the travis and roddy features that we were going to get on the party never ends are now on this documentary soundtrack but this track list also has like Adore You, Bills in the Regal, Already Dead, Go Hard with Uzi, and Christmas List. Now looking at this, the confirmed songs, or at least out of these confirmed songs, basically all of them are leaked besides Go Hard with Uzi and Christmas List. Now, kind of where I sit on that is I honestly don't care if songs leak or drop. I would rather just get them one way or the other. If they drop, I'm going to listen to them. If they leak, I'm going to listen to them. That's just where I sit on it. There's definitely songs that I think deserve to be released though. Stuff like Adore You and Bills in the Regal, I think, are just perfect examples of songs that need to be released so i hope a leak doesn't affect either of these and that they both do end up dropping but i also want to talk about that that kind of older track list that we had that had a lot of these songs on it as well as the song with Miley Cyrus, Trippy, and Chainsmokers. It was confirmed that this new track list or this new documentary track list is still going to have love, hard, and sad themed songs on it and that the songs with Miley Cyrus, the Chainsmokers, and Trippy Red will not be on the album. Now, some of this could definitely still be real because if you guys don't remember, they were looking for like the studio sessions for Feline a while back, but this could also just be a reason why it's fake. I personally do think at the time that this track list that we have is real, but I think that's basically everything I wanted to say about the documentary and the soundtrack but i do want to go ahead and shout out an account which is formats he makes a lot of dope juice artwork and i just think he's super underrated he has like 600 followers and he made a really dope artwork for stuff like Cinelon and soda pop so I have to plug his Twitter in the description down below make sure to go follow him because he makes really dope arts but with all that being said i want to move into like the juice community updates and tragedy did tweet out that the Cinelon group i did finish and that the song did leak so if you listen to leaks you can listen to that but if you're waiting to see if it drops definitely don't listen to it yet I highly doubt it's going to drop, but it just depends if you listen to leaks or not. And now the last little thing I wanted to go over was that 
Lucid Dreams did officially get registered or certified as nine times platinum. Now, if you guys don't remember, I saw a lot of people bringing up how like Juice tweeted out in like 2019 that the song was eight times platinum. So it's way past nine times platinum by now. It's probably diamond. And I agree. I think the song is diamond. It's just that the label took so long to submit basically all the new certifications for the album and new streams for stuff like Goodbye and Good Riddance, Death Days for Love, World on Drugs, Legends Never Die, all the singles. I think Juice got like over 50 new certifications today, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty sure within the coming months, we will get confirmation that Lucid Dreams is certified diamond. But with all that being said, guys, that's all for this video. If you are new here, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Complex Productions 999 and my Twitter at Complex Discuss. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Hey Ross, sauce it up. Hey Beast, this go crazy.